You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Sweetheart. Honey. Sweetheart. Please have a rethink. Please, this girl doesn't even know how the whole pregnancy thing came about. Please, Can I please have some peace? Huh? I left the room for you. Why don't you just go back in the bedroom? Sweetheart. Please, I beg you. If you were in this difficult position that I'm into right now, I would have carried you through. Please, I beg you. Just have a rethink. Are you done? No, no. Are you finished? Because if you are, I have a little advice for you. Go back in there to the bedroom and go to bed so you can sleep early and wake up early and go to that hospital. Make sure that that girl and a little bastard doesn't return to my house here. Because if they do, I will not hesitate to send both of you out to hell. Do you understand that? So I go to bed, so you can go to bed. So I've been talking to a stone. I got the message. Jesus. I have no other choice than to go over to the village. I guess that's God's way for me. And that's not the will of God. <laughs> As I was saying, Mommy, I accept every plans that you and Auntie have made. Except that I can't stay in my maternal home when my paternal home is there. Listen to us. As we speak now, your paternal grandparents are dead. And the only surviving relative is your evil uncle, who is a native doctor, whom your father has already called and informed not to allow you into the compound as you brought disgrace to the family. Please, let us stay with you. Please. I, I mean, I, I would love to have them stay at my place, but my, my work, my work won't allow me to have time to take good care of her and the baby. Do you know I leave the house very early and come back late? Else, I, I, I really would want them to stay with me. It's okay. It's okay. Mm, Chibi baby is my shame. He's my pride and my shame, and I will pay it, mommy. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Everything will be alright. We'll take care of you. We're going to the village. It's just temporary, okay? I and Choma will make better arrangements for you.
as I said, I will always call to make sure that you're fine. I will send the driver every weekend to bring you food stuff and check on you. As soon as I get back to the city, I promise you, I'm going to get you a good apartment where you and the baby will stay. Once you're strong enough before the surgery, okay? Okay, mommy. Okay. I promise you that. Take good care of the little boy. Here is 30,000. Hold it. Use it to buy anything you want. Okay? But mommy, I have enough provisions and foodstuffs to last me for a long while. Why all this cash? Or oh, won't you be visiting me as you promised? No, don't say that. I will always visit to make sure that you and the baby are alright. I just want to make sure that you are okay. That's why I want you to hold this little money. Okay? I'm so sorry for all the shame I've caused you. I love you too. I should be the one to apologize. I'm sorry for the pain you're going through right now. But everything will be okay. Okay? Take care of yourself and the little baby.
Good evening, Mom. I'm fine, Mom. Mom, I don't think I can stay here all alone. There's no light and... I'm so scared, Mom. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. See? I'm going to get a med for you. And I'll get a gem set. I promise you, this weekend, the driver will bring it down for you, okay? Okay, Mom. Please, just manage. I'm so sorry for this. Okay. Take care of you, yourself and the baby, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you. I love you too, Mother. Promised you, I have made an arrangement for you to spend the holidays in London. That's nice, man. Thank you very much. Sweetheart, you've made me proud. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Mom. Yes. You really have made us proud. <laughs> ah, you're very different from that disgrace you, you call it daughter. Watch your tongue, Eze. I will not sit down here and watch you insult my daughter. After you have chased her out of this house, watch your words. No. Is this me you are calling by name? No. It's not you I'm calling by name. I'm calling your father's by name. Whose lineage is filled with male breeds? Nonsense. Let me warn you. Let me warn you. Let this be the last time ever in your life that you bring my parents into your stupid discussion or else, or else I will... Or else what? What can you do? You can't do Jack. The worst you could have done is to stop providing for us in this house. But you know you cannot. Or the best thing you can also do is to throw me out of this family. Let me go and stay with my daughter and train my children. Because I am financially buoyant than you. In fact, I am tired of this house. I want to go out and stay with my daughter. Oh, so, so. Dad. Dad. Mom. I want to tell you that I've made an arrangement where I'll be spending my two weeks holidays. What, what arrangement? I've chosen to spend my holidays with my sister, Ogogoa. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? No, 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 no. Are you mad? Now, how could you choose to spend your holidays in the village, that stupid village, rather than go to London for your, for your holidays? Dad, like you rightly said, it's my own holiday and I've decided to spend it with my sister, Algo. <laughs> Is well, my prince. 
and catch his belly, okay? And what are you doing in my palace? I'm here to see my prince. You're here to see me? Yes, my prince. Oh, yes, my prince. She's here to see me. What's going on? Yeah, it's obvious you invited her, so... Why? My prince, for you to marry her. For me to marry her? What do, what do you say? Are you nuts? Do you expect me to marry someone like... You? My prince... You have not said to me that you hate slim girls. No, well, I think I said something like that, but certainly not, you know, someone like... Oh. Look, I like my woman portable. You know, like me, Joma. Oh. My prince. Now I understand. But my prince, I thought you said you've forgotten about a Joma. Well, I don't remember saying anything like that. I only said I was going to cut down on my visit to a gravesite so I could concentrate and find a wife. That was all I said. I don't think you've been doing that. My prince, you told me you could not find a wife because you don't know any family to choose from. You don't know the right family. You gave me go-ahead order to pick a good and decent girl for you. I've brought to you 15 different girls. All I get to hear now is that you want a girl like you, Ijoma. A girl that died 16 years ago giving birth to another man's child. Will you shut up? Shut up! How dare you? How dare you judge the only woman I ever loved and adored? I'm sorry, Hey! Sir. hey. I removed all the servants in this palace of your duties because I wanted my peace of mind, right? And I left you as a security man. You know why? Because I wanted to always be at and you, as my friend, to always advise me and not to insult me! Now you go out there Pick up that lady of yours and take her out of my palace. I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. Don't tell me for someone? Um, well, sort of. You stay here? Yeah, I stay here with my baby. Your baby? Well, you... You don't, you don't, you don't look it. Uh, pardon my curiosity, though, but... Your, uh, your husband? I'm not married yet. I have a child in my father's house. Oh. Well, sorry about that, though. I, uh, I didn't mean to cry. There's no problem. Okay. So, 
Is this your house? No. I come from Amanko village. But I'll have to stay here for a while until the shim washes off. Hmm. I see. Alright, well, I visit this compound often. I come to keep a late friend of mine company. What do you mean by that? Well, this is actually the family compound of the only woman I ever loved. But because of my father's love for academics, I had to travel abroad to study. I stayed away for like 16 years and by the time I got back, I... I heard she was dead. Oh. Save my sympathy. It's alright. I've learned to live with it though. So, uh, your son, is it? Alright, like I said, I come here often and I'm still gonna come here again. I may see you. So if you don't mind, we could be friends. No, we can't be friends. Why? Tell me, why can't we be friends? I'm sick. No. You. You can talk to me. What's wrong? I have fever. VVF surgery is quite common and affordable. Why haven't your parents taken you for it? I sustained a severe injury during childbirth. So my family doctor said I will have to let it heal if I could go for a surgery. Okay. And how old is it? Early two months. Hmm. I see. Well, we own a very big hospital here in the village with the best of staff. So I'll I'll discuss with the medical director and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. That was very kind of you. It's all right. It's okay, you're welcome. Okay, just before I leave, is there anything you may need? You or or the baby? Whatever cash stuff. No, no. My mom left me with enough cash and foodstuffs that could last for a long while. Sure. I'm fine. Okay. Fine. Okay, fine. I'll be on my way then. Okay. Take care of yourself. Take care of the baby. I will. I will spiral away from home. I couldn't find another true Just a night. I'll spend my two weeks of days there. I've missed 
my nephew and you for so long. <laughs> you are kidding me, you naughty yeah. boy. So how is school? So come on, let's go inside. School is fine. And um, assignments, projects and all that, you know. Cool. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. I'm even coughing. Fine, I'm okay. God is in control, you know. <laughs> Oh, the doctor. He's a new friend of mine I met today. He says he has a hospital where I can have my surgery without payment. Serious? He sounded serious. I think he's serious. He's a kind and generous man. So, what is his name? Name? Oh my god, uh, I forgot to ask him his name and he didn't even take mine. Then it's for you. I think it's for you. You think so? Yes. But that's by the way. Something I would love to tell you. But you promise me you won't discuss it with mom or any other person. I hope there's no problem. I'm sorry. Dad is not your biological father. Who told you? I found out myself. I heard mom and dad talk about it. been lost in after me. So Mama, this is unfair and you know it. The poor girl deserves to know the truth. I am sorry, my daughter. That is not possible. If she gets to know, your father's lineage would end. And I cannot risk that. Mama, this is unfair. This is inhuman. It is the same thing you did 16 years ago to me. I cannot allow that to happen to my daughter. I should have told the king about my pregnancy. But you did not. So let's live it that way. I'm sorry I cannot. And you, why are you quiet? Why can't you say anything? I don't have anything to say, Gemma. I'm confused. You don't know what to say? You are the architect of the whole madness. You're the brain behind my problems. I'm sorry. You don't know what to say? No, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please, forgive me. I can only forgive you on one condition. That you tell her the truth. I can't. I can't. She won't forgive me. Let Uluama do the talking. Then you leave me with no choice. Than to take that which you took from me. An eye for an eye. 
a tooth for a tooth and a daughter to a daughter. Jesus, how did you know I'm pregnant? How did you know I am pregnant? No, 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 Jesus, Jesus, the mom, my child. Jesus, 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 why are you crying? Oh, just calm down. It's just a dream. No, no, it's not a dream. She promised to kill my unborn child. She, she promised to kill my unborn child. Jesus, Jesus, save my child. She, she said I must confess. Confess? What? To who? Unborn child, if I do not confess everything I know about Ogugwa, the pregnancy, and the paternity of the child. Why oh, is that strong? That's complete nonsense. The Ijoma and No cannot hurt her own. Let her alone her immediate younger sister, whom she loves so much. That was the Ijoma we knew before she died. Not the Ijoma I saw in my dream. The Ijoma I saw in my dream had blood in her eyes when she was threatening me. She said she was going to kill my unborn child. In fact, she was walking towards me to kill me, and Ma just stood there calmly, saying nothing. Oh, come on, Shumi. That was just a mere dream. Uh, sister, sister, please don't go there. Please don't go there. Ah, ah. Sister, I know if I stay here all day trying to explain to you, I understand. For that reason, I'm going to do what is right, so I don't have to come back here tomorrow to explain to you. So what are you going to do? Sister, as you see me here, I'm wearing my father's clothes. Kneeling and begging Ogugwa for forgiveness and telling her everything I know. Oh, you can't do that. How do you want her to see me after this whole drama? She said, let her see you the way she wants to see you. Face her the way you face a human being. Ah, my husband and I have been married without a miscarriage. Not to talk about pregnancy, sister. A child means the world to us right now. Shumi, why not leave this journey? Let's go together tomorrow. Sister, my husband is waiting for me outside. I have to go. You told your husband? I had to. And I would advise you to tell yours so he can accompany you to the village tomorrow. Is there any problem? No, there's no problem. Just calm down, honey. We're here now. Auntie, please calm down. You, you've just gotten here and you're getting me so nervous. Let's go inside. No. I'm sorry. I, I've offended you and I've offended your mother. I really need to say this because I don't know what you think of me after this. But I have to tell you. I have to tell you so I can ask your forgiveness, even though I know you may not forgive me. Auntie, you and I know that my mommy loves you so much that she will give an eye just to protect you, her only sister. What it is that you've done to her that she will find so hard to forgive? Auntie, you know I love you so much. I've already forgiven you before you will say anything you want to say. You have to know. 
have to know that Sister Uloma is not your biological mother. sisters but that is supposed to be your duty yes but I exchange it with um, cleaning of the house and uh, washing the plate the next thing now you will tell me you're even looking after the house meanwhile you're here sleeping like the head of the vig village vigilante group that does not get to sleep in the night no, eh? no worry, the house is safe and secure eh. yeah. so have you finished washing the plate that's what I'm doing hi why <laughs> hey you want Oloma to come here and give you a dirty slap. When she realizes that you've not washed the plate you promised you will wash. It has your mama. Could you can go and do it now? That way. Ha! Ijoma. Okay, not you, man. It's boy. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, my Lord. It is not easy for a widow whose husband has left her with no inheritance to be able to take care of three grown up children like you. I give glory to you, Father. I think I should use this opportunity to tell you a little bit about my marriage to your father. You see, your father was an only son. And because of that, his parents got him a wife at a very early stage. With the hope that we will be able to have children and fill up the compound. But yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to give him a male child. And my mother in law made life, oh my God, so unbearable for me. She made life a living hell for me. She said that having female children is as good as having none. And she said that you people will never be of any use to me. I just, I just pray every day. That's all she said shall not come to pass. God forbid, Mama. My sisters and I are not failures. We are going to make you so proud that she will hide her face in shame, even in her grave. Yes, Mama. Oh, my God. 
Joma. Hmm? I'm your elder sister. And I am also your friend. So I want you to feel free to tell me anything. Are you still a virgin? Uh, what kind of a direct question is this from? I'm sorry, but I need to know. I don't understand this habit of throwing up every now and then. Is there something I should know? Nothing. I'm, I don't know where you're driving to. Um. I'm talking about our vows to remain virgins until we are married. I have a very strong feeling that you've broken yours. Ijoma. Ijoma. I ask you one more time. Are you pregnant? <laughs> I don't know, Mama. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> when was the last time you saw your, your menstruation? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? You okay, want me to use this candle on you <laughs> before you tell me if you're pregnant or not? Say, <laughs> 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 Mama, you before boy. Yes, Mama. Hey! <laughs> time for us to begin to apportion blames. Let's think of how best to console Mama and make her happy again.
Mama, why do you want to cry? Mama, why do you want to cry? Apu, no, no, no. Oji, no, no, no. Oko, ba, cha, la, cha. Tuluza, 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 da. Da, I'm still sick. I want to eat my own now. Da. What will the world say if they find out? They will make a ridicule of me. They will say I was loose with my children. That is why EJ got pregnant. Very soon, I don't know what we to show. Hi, Aloha. The back and gaze on you. Where will I hide my shame? Hi. Where will I hide my shame? Tell me, my boy, more. husband's prayers? Is this God's own way of providing an heir for my late husband? God, I don't have anybody else but you. Let your will, Father, let your will be done in this family. If 
Father, I am a mere woman. I don't know what to do. Do be more, do be more. 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 Do be more, Hello? Where are your sisters? They are at the backyard. Should I go out? No, 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 please. I bought this thing for you. I want you to sit here and enjoy it. Or else they will take it away from you. But first, get me a cup of water. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Is it one more? So you are pregnant. I warned you. I told you to call. Let me teach you the way on how to do it. Now you've brought shame and disgrace oh to your name. family. What? And what is the meaning of that nonsense talk? Did any member of my family tell you that my staff's pregnancy is a mistake? Or you just do not hold your tongue? Everybody knows in this village that is pregnant. Am I right? Mm -hmm. It's obvious that both of you do not know how to mind your business. Or do you want me to teach you? Look who's talking. Have you forgotten? Your brother is a renowned criminal in this town. Have you forgotten? Your elder sister is 42 and she's still single uh -huh. because your mother is a prostitute. Uh -huh. People in the village are complaining. Kazara too is complaining. Do you want me to remind you of how many men in this village have gone in there? Uh -huh. The ground will open and you will cover your face in shame. <laughs> See you. You will soon end up like your sister. <laughs> Stop me, please! Stop that! Oh, stop that now! I thought he left without saying. But well, baby, you know that's not possible. Listen, I love you so much, and I promise I'll never do anything to you. 